Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Railroader. It has been a minute since I got to look at Railroader, mostly because I've been trashed busy. I haven't had time to really do any videos in general, and the last couple times I've tried to do a video, as is very typical, Train Simulator has given me the out of memory error. It seems to be a massive problem in the last couple of weeks, so I pretty much gave up for a little bit uh, so we're gonna take a look at some of the known freeware locomotives thus far for railroader uh, I think I nosed at one of them already uh, maybe I don't know it's been a while since I did a railroader video so I, I'm not dead certain if I've taken a look at it yet but uh, to my knowledge, there are four freeware locomotives that have been done for Railroader thus far. Uh, one of them, unfortunately, is not supported by uh, Mod Manager. Unity Mod Man, yeah, Unity Mod Manager. I tried to. It's been a while since I had to set that up, but a lot of the current mods that are being put out for Railroader now require Unity Mod Manager to. Uh, install them and keep them up to date. One of those locomotives is older than that requirement and as such it will not work with the Unity Mod Manager. You have to manually go through and download it and whatnot. I don't really feel like going through that hassle. So as of right now we have three that will work with the Unity Mod Manager that I know of. Uh, we're going to take a look at them. Well, I, we're currently taking a look at them. These are those three. So we have the good old fashioned American Standard 440, the F7B, and the F7A. Pretty uh, self explanatory. Kind of basic, not necessarily unique items. But, cool enough in their own right, just because uh, they're kind of those items that one would have thought would have been placed in game to begin with. At least uh, the F series, I would have thought, would have come before the GP9 and SW, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm kind of low-key impressed that an F series in general wasn't done before the GP9 with the base game considering uh, the entire idea of this game is kind of a transitional era F series diesel locomotives pretty much predominated the diesel scene during that time period uh, the GP series didn't come until a little bit later now granted they were still around for somebody some uh interest historian comes off with ah, they actually did have yeah, yeah I know they had jeeps during the transitional phase but the early transition era was very much dominated by these uh, F-series the FT's the F-3's F-7's uh, the GP series actually came about because of the limitations of the F series. One of the very painfully obvious items being visibility is that way. That's it. Doesn't do you much good for uh, road switches and such. Kind of need to be able to see behind you. So the GP the general purpose was developed. Uh, anyway, I digress. It still just kind of impressed me that an F series was not a kind of core diesel locomotive that I feel like should have come. Is it basic bitch? Absolutely. Yeah, I said bad word. I know. Whatever. Oh, dear God. Whatever will you do? I don't get paid for these videos, so I'm not missing anything. Uh, and I my videos are not rated for children. Children might watch them. Uh, grown-ups if your children's watching my videos they might learn a word or two but 
basic bitch locomotives. Kind of feel like might have should have made it there. The American Standard 440 on the other hand here. That's weird. Right. Never had right mouse button completely reset to center of the screen. That's a new one for me. But anyhow, the American Standard. Uh, I believe this locomotive is based on the modern rebuild of the. Is the Reno or the Genoa? Pretty sure it's Reno. Uh, if I remember correctly, Reno is the locomotive. Uh, the Virginia and Truckee Reno, if I remember correctly, is the locomotive that was owned by Hollywood for forever uh, and used in all those old westerns and whatnot. And it's had a good few rebuilds throughout the years. But it's. I'm fairly certain that that is what this locomotive is based on is one of those Virginia and Truckee 440s that has survived into today uh, with the very noticeably obvious upgrades such as air brakes generator electric lighting knuckle couplers uh, coal burning things of that nature uh, I have tried to play around with it. I love the model. The chuff sounds are way, way, way off last time I played with it. Uh, to a laughable extent. But we do have a Baldwin Hooter that goes on you know, quite nicely than this locomotive. But Very neat. Very cool. The F7B. Which, I'm curious, can we get up in it? Unknown? Probably not. Okay. F7B. It's just an F7 without a cab on it. The F7A. That's kind of interesting. I'm in sandbox mode, so I just place these down for heckin' squiggles, and I kind of would have thought these would have been the same color. It's kind of entertaining that they're like two different military drab greens. Anywho. Again, I digress. Yeah, there's a door we can open. Pretty standard F7. I mean, it's nothing wild, true, weird, true, freaky, francy. Yoink. <laughs> Can we go back here? Nope. Sad times. Can we open this door? Nope. I don't know why it's always showing the diesel fuel gauge, but whatever. There we go. Instruments, we got our speedometer, got our horn. Weird. So the hit marker for this cord is way over here. Anywho, uh, get a horn, throttle. Uh, we don't get that. Reverse. Independent. Question mark. Independent. Independent. Okay. Oh, this unknown. Train brake. Train, train brake. Hmm, interesting. So the hit markers are wild. Windows are yeah. None of the switches are functional. So. I mean, this is a relatively recent mod, I, I imagine there's still quite a bit of work to do, but the cab is very, 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 eh, there's really not much going on, there's really not much to play with, um, it is a basic F7 cab, 
for those of us that have been playing train sims for forever, like trains or railroad or railworks, uh, this cab is very familiar because uh, heaven forbid we get something new and unique for uh, the U.S. side of railworks. We get the same decade-old Kuju F7 that looks just like this. Nothing weird, nothing true, nothing fancy. But it's kind of entertaining that the, uh, there's no gauge right here. No, uh, no indicator. You'll sit, dynamic brakes. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, we don't need that. Let's go here. Make our life a little bit better. Pop. Follow. Uh, actually, yeah, nah, we'll walk. Not much it. Obviously, we can't really do anything with the B unit. Can't get up in it. So, I can't really see that there's anything inside. You can just kind of see like an engine model in there, but... Yeah. So, anyway. That's the F7. And here is our Ovo 440. The 440, as of right now, if you download it, is the weakest locomotive in the game, which is not surprising. Not gonna lie, though, I love the model, and I think it is 100% perfect for this little uh, Alarka Junction branch right here. For a, a short passenger train running back and forth right here, maybe running, uh, running, uh, road freight or whatever. I think it's the perfect little locomotive for this area. It's just me. I like it here. It's fitting. But, uh, because you don't really need a powerhouse locomotive right there in the early game. The cab is modeled alright. Nothing wild. Headlight, whistle, reverse, throttle, brake stand. Now obviously the quality of the in cab is not like train simulator quality, but at least it is modeled, so the game itself is not really a train simulator per se. It's more What would one call it? More of a business simulator? Maybe? Maybe that's a way to call it? I don't know. Before we start, we'll come over here. Right click, or uh, hold control, left kick. And you can... Oh, what is it? What can you change on this locomotive? Customize. You can change the base color. Kind of nice. Which is the boiler jacket right here. A little... Well, uh, you change that color. I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice addition. I kind of this is something that I low key kind of wish that we could have done with most of the other base locomotives. I don't see a reason why we can't do it with the rest of the locomotives, considering that we can do it on this one. It just makes it, it makes things a little more different. Let's you customize each locomotive to be more, I don't know, wacky. You can customize the lettering on this locomotive, which is nice, but it doesn't change the lettering on the tender. Let's go, I don't know. Eh, well, kind of wish that that text would have added like a name or something right there under the cab, but that's okay. And obviously you can change the whistle. Standard whistle. Let's see. Can't change. There it is. Can change. Base color just changes the coloring of question mark? Nothing. 
makes the lettering disappear. Hmm. Wild. Yes. Yes. Ha! <laughs> Oh wow, the chuff rate is correct now. Weird. Last time I played it, it was way off. Oh, it's, uh, it's the same tired old chuff sounds that literally every single model in this game has. But it's something, I guess. It does have animated inside valve gear. But that is that. It's not a bad looking model. I I like the model itself. Nothing physically functions either. Which is kind of funny. The reverser is right there. You can see it moving. Goes to that bar right there. Into there. No function. Sad times there. Oh well. The brakes function. That's cool. Marker lights. That is an absolute crime that you can't stick some flags up here or down here. On to uh, our F series. Oops, not what I meant to do. It doesn't really wind down, it's kind of, it just kind of cuts in and out, it's a little bit wacky, but, you know, oh well. I forgot to MU these two together. Mobby! I mean, they sound the same. Uh, let's see. Go to equipment, customize. We do not get a fun horn change. Sad times. Whoops. But we can change the base color of the locomotive. <laughs> Texas State Railroad yellow or red and gold. That'd be fun. Uh, I'm a TMP guy. I got kind of a blue color. Get that unfortunate Jinx blue over here. From the Mopac. And you can change the coloring of the lettering. So, uh, unfortunately, we can't really, uh, can't really put any logo designs or logos in a railroader right now, so... No Santa Fe war bonnets. No Pennsylvania stripes. Just a solid color with lettering. Uh, at least you can change the color. That's something, but would be nice to be able to put some shapes or something on it. Unfortunately, no horn changes. Granted, I do not have any horn downloads. Uh the one and only reason I use sandbox mode for 
it is for this right here so I can show off new mods or new locomotives and whatnot. Otherwise, I only play in career and in uh, career mode. I have not gotten to a point where I can afford and or need a diesel locomotive. So I haven't bothered with a sound mod for any of the diesels yet. So I know there's a couple of horn mods out there that will probably be useful for these in the near future but for the time being that is the stock game sounds on it and that is it that, that's really all that's new for railroader that i think is worth going out of the way to show off it's really all anybody watching videos is going to care about is what new models have been added uh, there is a ton, ton of mods on Nexus mods for uh, different track layouts, different switches, a couple industries, uh, stuff of that nature that it's nice, but it's really kind of hard to do a video over it because Railroader has not received a visual upgrade yet at all. And so a lot of the added industries or switches or whatnot are just plain Jane like this right here. You know, just open track to nowhere. Or like that track right there. There's a lot of like the added industries that have been done for mods in uh, random tracks along the line that are like that that in the base game are not used for anything other than maybe a siding or something um, it's a bunch of mods that turn those into industries but the only way you know it's an industry is you'll get a car that says it's going to that siding there's literally no new trees houses anything like that so I don't see a point in doing a video over all of those different mods because it would be a video of me just saying oh this is an industry now there you go guys I did it just in there you go there's your there's your uh there's your video on it this is an industry now this track right here it's an industry can't you tell changed not at all so uh a lot of mods for that a lot of a lot of nice track mods that make life way more convenient such as adding some runarounds wise uh, switches, increasing yard limit, or increasing yard trackage. That is very helpful, but again, no real point to a video because it would just be an entire video of staring at tracks. You've seen one, you've seen them all. doesn't do anybody any good unless they're physically using them. Uh, so those are out there. Same place I got these locomotives. Nexus mods. Uh, there's some. I believe there's a new caboose. Maybe I have. Maybe I have it. Early steel. Or the, I believe it's this one. Let's add it. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of that place. Yep. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the mods. This is the mod. So it's a Southern Pacific style caboose. Another one of those neat additions. It does have a uh, semi done up interior. Kind of part for the course for Railroader, but yeah. Uh, different caboose style. I know that has been added to uh, to the mod list. I know it sounds like I made it sound very ex insignificant to whoever made it. They did a great job. It's just it's hard to go over stuff in depth with Railroader when Railroader is not really a simulator per se. So you're really looking at the external model and nothing else. Um, what else is there? What else has been added? Industry additions, which is sightings. The three locomotives I go on. There's another locomotive. It's like an RSD series that 
somebody did way back when when the modding community just kicked off for railroader um, I'm not showing it because I don't have it because I use I, I didn't get into the mods really the only mod that I used early on was the whistle mod uh, and then they added the support for your unity mod manager which makes life so much easier because it'll update when it'll update your mods whenever the modder updates its mods which makes life so much easier instead of having to go through re-download the mod re un reinstall it to your folder or delete the old mod crap like that so I didn't really get into modding until that got added in and unfortunately the RSD is not compatible with the unity mod manager hopefully the modder will upgrade or update it to be usable with it because it's a neat locomotive it's something that to my knowledge no train simulator has really gone over the RSD series which is in essence the RSDs are stretched RS's like the RS3 there's uh, something like the RSD 4 and 5 that uh, they're like six actual six axle RS series uh, I forget what particular model it is that is available but that is the fourth locomotive that is available uh, if you figure out how to download it cool beans it's in another nice odd diesel to have a little bit more different than your generic basic bitch f7 gp9 sw series <sighs> and i believe that is it as far as models uh, I, I don't think anybody's really done any new other new models for the game so anywho that is the extent of this video today uh, i don't think there's anything else for me to really point out or go over or say hey check it out so as always I'll put the link in the description you can go check it out on Nexus mods yourself see what other mods there are available for railroader because updates and such are kinda slow for railroader we've only really had one notable major update and it didn't really do anything to improve the overall look at the game so mods are really carrying the playability of railroader for me right now so i highly 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 recommend going and checking out nexus mods and checking out the mod list because it might also help you with replayability it might make your life a little bit better just add some more things to play around with check out and or use so anywho hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time